welcome to Vet Ranch. I'm Dr. Carrie. It's been a minute. This is actually going to be a little bit of a different approach. We're going to call it Vet Ranch Roundup and I'll explain what that is in just a second. If you haven't seen our um, main channel, just the Vet Ranch YouTube channel, you should definitely go check it out right now. We have about almost 3 million subscribers and essentially what we do is we show cases of, of medically needy animals from start to finish. Um, and all of our medical care is provided by a 501c3 charity called Abandoned Pet Project, which is funded by donations. However, what I think that you guys have been asking, this last year obviously has been a mess with COVID, with everything happening in personal lives, but we've still been rescuing like crazy, but we have not been relaying that to you guys. And so that's where there's been this huge gap and we're trying to think of a way to kind of bridge that gap and show you guys what we do. I'm not the best about getting videos and keeping track of them and uploading them and all of that. So what I think would be better and easier and what you might want is to just see a day-to-day -day approach. Like, hey, these are the cases that we're working on in the hospital this week, and let's show what happens as Patrick, for example, heals week to week. So I think that that would be a really cool journey to go on with you guys. It's gonna be a lot more behind the scenes. Um, it's not always gonna be happy endings, right? Because sometimes when cases don't work out, those videos don't make it. Um, but if you follow us with cases from start to finish, animals may not get to keep their legs or they may not survive at all. Um, that is the hard part of our job. And unfortunately what happens when we take a risk and save really, really sick animals. So you're gonna see kind of what we deal with day to day. The other thing is surgeries. Start it without showing any surgeries on the channel. However, I want you guys to tell me if you wanna see surgeries, like have the option to click on a different link and watch a surgery that way. That way um, it's not on the main channel, which YouTube did not like us to do, but you can also learn from it and kind of see what we're doing if you're not, if you're not worried about a little blood. Um, so you guys tell me that in the comments because I want this to be more of an interactive thing. So without further ado, I think what we should do is talk about three animals that we have in hospital right now, which is Patrick, Peppermint, Patty, which we call Peppy, and um, a mama dog, I guess, including all of her puppies too. So let's do that, her name's Raya. Let's do that and get you guys up to speed with the cases kind of that we have going on and we'll show some retroactive footage so that you kind of know their story. After this, you'll probably be along with us on the journey to see how we get these animals and what we do to get them ready for adoption and how we treat them medically and go to the shelters with us and watch us spay and neuter feral cats. So, it's gonna be a really fun ride and I'm excited to show you all the things that Vet Ranch and Abandoned Pet Project do together. So let's get started. We've had her for a couple months now. Um, she has some puppies, which we'll meet in a second, which are getting spayed and neutered today to go ahead and get adopted, thank goodness. She's over it with those puppies and ready for them to move on and get a home. But she's heartworm positive because unfortunately, a lot of the homeless animals here are not on heartworm prevention. And in Texas, it is very, very common as it's spread by mosquitoes. So that means we are going to need to treat her for heartworms. So she's going to be with us quite a bit longer, but then hopefully we can find a home. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. He's so sweet. There she goes. She's done. Sorry. <laughs> you have to go back in. So all of these babies are Ryan's babies, and they all have homes. So we are going to try to stay and neuter them today. Okay. <laughs> so that they can go home hopefully this weekend or something. People can't hear me!
Well, I stepped away for a second and they already neutered Tuck Tuck, but look, he just got neutered. He's so crazy. Now we're gonna do the other ones and get them to a home ASAP. Let's talk about Patrick, our broken puppy. I got an email from the shelter early March um, that they had a puppy that was injured. Looks like he was probably um, hit by car. So he, this is the leg he was limping on, which is broken. And then this one had to be splinted. Um, this one, the other right front leg, I thought would be more injured, but it had no breaks, but it had a huge wound and we had to do tons of wound care, wet to dry bandaging on him. He did not love that being a puppy and having both of his front legs splinted. decided to try and reduce the fracture which I got it kind of in this close of proximity and then we put a cast and then it ended up being a splint on him and this is after everything was lined up. Thirteen days later after putting the cast on this is how much healing he's had and which is pretty awesome. Um, he's got these calluses here and everything's starting to kind of firm up. These are the last ones that we took um, and we're probably going to go ahead and pull off his splint today because this wound is healed. This carpus is really dropped from putting so much weight on it um, and he does have an issue here in his elbow which doesn't seem to cause him any issue but that's something that we're also watching in the future as he grows. So hopefully today splint off and he can go into a foster home if everything works out well. terrible because it's so hyper luxated but what we're gonna do is see how he does without a splint for a while and hopefully he'll get some weight off of that and build up some muscle here and go to his adopter what are you doing, <laughs> Such a good all right dude there he goes whoa take it easy oh it's like a limp noodle so I think honestly also we should put him in a cage for a little bit because he jumps up in the kennel. Is there not a knock? Put him in a cage where he can't jump up and land on that really hard for a while. He's like, hi, Charlie. Hello. You want to be my girlfriend? He's like, not yeah. at all. All right. Let's put him <laughs> in a cage. Hi, dude. See you in a little bit. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he's obsessed. Peppermint Patty. 
We got her right around Christmas, right before Christmas is when we got little Pep. Her story is Animal Control sent me an email and called me and asked if we could take in this girl because she, I think they, she was just found as a stray and she had a huge wound on her neck and they needed medical care, which they couldn't provide. So they gave us a call and I said, sure. And they brought our little baby in. She was in really bad shape, had a lot of fleas, ticks, was very, very, very thin. She was Ehrlichia positive, which is a tick-borne disease that's pretty common in Texas here. Um, so we treated her for that just with some antibiotics. And then her teeth were terrible. She looked like she had had a couple litters of puppies. And we found out as well, when we went to clean her teeth, that she had a stick stuck in her mouth, like across the top of her mouth. And that is probably why all another, she's just, that's her, where her face wants to be. So she had a stick stuck in her mouth and that's probably part of the reason she was so skinny because she could not even eat properly. Right? Right. But she's so sweet. She is the sweetest dog ever. Shake. Well, guys, thank you for joining us for our very first episode of Vet Ranch Roundup. If you like what you see, please subscribe to our new channel so you can keep track of these patients and um, watch their journey as we move along. Um, if you want to make a donation, everything is through Abandoned Pet Project, our partner 501c3, and Thank you guys. If there's anything specific that you wanna see, surgeries, certain types of animals, more Dr. Dave, some Dr. Wendy, whatever, tell us. We're gonna read the comments and we hope to um, be more interactive and get your feedback. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye. Okay, we're taking little Namari back out because she is an escape artist and we cannot keep her with the other puppies. They're so cute! But well, we're so ready for them to get to, into their new home because they're crazy. What is happening with these ears? They are crazy. I was just talking about Peppy being a little chunky. I know why she is. Because she's got these eyes. And we knew she used to be starving. And she's got these tricks. Honey, can you shake? Come here, Paul. Good girl. Do it again. Come here, Paul. <laughs> They're so cute. What do you mean, Peppy? I don't know we've seen her before. See how she works it? Peppy? <gasps> okay. This is a good girl. What are you going to be seeing Harley for? Good girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs>